Marie. And I promised some more wrapping videos. And so here we go. So I'm going to show you a few different things. The first uh, one is, this is how I usually wrap my soap um, for most of my bars. I just use regular scrapbooking paper for the bottom and a paper raffia uh, ribbon for the top. So that's fairly simple. There are some bars, however, that um, don't, they wouldn't look nice with that kind of wrapping, so I've decided to make a little box for them. And I'll show you how to make a box that fits exactly the size of your uh, soap and the shape, because my soap aren't exactly square because I can't cut straight for the life of me. Um, so this, these little boxes are very easy to do. You don't need glue. <laughs> you can put glue if you want, but you don't need glue. And um, they will fit exactly the same, the right shape of your box. The right shape of your box. This makes no sense. The right shape of your soap. Because I don't know if you can see that my soap is not exactly square, but the box does follow its shape quite nicely. So I'll show you how to do that. And then on the end, I'll show you how I wrap my sets uh, of soaps in a, I make a little box for them, or a, a wrapping carton. So we'll start with the simple uh, soap. And again, this is just scrapbooking paper. They come in sheets of 12 by 12, and I just cut it in strips of 3 inches. So it's very simple. I just put the soap on the bottom. Make sure it's straight. I make it nice and snug, make a crease, wrap the back of it, get a piece of tape, and just tape it. And then the bottom, I just wrap like a present. So I push the end in here like this. I push that end like that. Because this is a little bit too tall, I just will cut it. And, and then just wrap it, and then I just put a piece of tape. I used to put glue, but um, tape is that much easier. And for the ribbon, I use paper raffia. I cut a length of it. I usually measure with my soap so that I get a little bit off the end here, and it wraps all around, and I get some at the end over here. And that will give me enough to wrap around and make the um, the knot at the top. So then I keep my finger on it and then I just glue it with my glue gun. So I put a bead of glue just along the side and the bottom. Check the ribbon. Don't get the glue on your fingers. Ah. There we go. That's one thing with glue, hot glue is it's very forgiving. Make little balls with it and get rid of it. So I did one side. I will do this side now. And you don't need much. And here we go. It's already glued. That's what I like about hot glue. And then I just tie the top. Make just a double knot. Hold it tight. And there we go. And then trim the edges. Or trim the ends, not the edges. There we go. So we've got our soap. Now then, I would normally put my labels on here. One on the back, one on the top. Um, but I don't have any labels ready for this soap yet. So I'll just I'll just leave them like that for now. Now, let's say I want to make um, a gift set of three soaps. They don't have to be all the same, but I like to put them in a little box or a little um, container. And you can get square boxes, of like jewelry boxes or card boxes, but like it doesn't matter how you... I mean, they don't fit in a square box. So what I've done is I kind of devised my own little thing. Again, using scrapbooking paper. This is um, paper that is quite a bit sturdier 
than the the one that I used to wrap this so so this is more like like a cardboard but again they come in sheets of 12 by 12 and this I just cut in half on the back I don't know if you can see but I have already scored some lines I've got I've scored two lines along the long ends and then two in the middle and how I've done the measurements for this is that the width of the middle section will fit my three soaps together. So you basically just measure how wide your your three soaps are, and you take that measurement minus the whole length of the um, sheet of paper, divided by two, and that tells you how far up you put the first line. Then um, I've measured my soap this way as well and then I've made score lines to fit on each side. So for my, my soaps are three and a, um, almost three and a half inches wide and one inch wide, so the three of them are three inches wide. So this measures three inches this way and three and a half inches that way. Okay. So now, basically it's just, just fold along the score line and actually, to, to make my score lines, I use um, this type of stool. Just a, a, a straight edge and then just core down so that it it's, um, gives you something to, to fold against. So there's one. And then I always make sure that it's even like that. Okay. Then, of course, I pull the ends. One there. And one there. Okay. So now you've got a box that's got, well, square with folded ends. All right. Now that you've got your paper folded, you are going to fold this up like that, and at the same time, open this corner out like this. Okay. So this this fold here when you open it, ends up going perpendicular, parallel, sorry, parallel to the edge of your paper, like that. So you're making a corner, like that. So I'll do it on this side. This is the bottom of your box here, so you're doing, you're working on the lower end here. You open, the, you, you fold this up, and open this so that you see this corner here is now meeting is parallel with the edge and what that does is it makes a corner inside okay I'll do it again on this side open whoops would help if I had my corners well so open no, it's hard to see. So that my corner is meeting parallel to the edge. Then this one. See how this this is opening up like that, and I'm becoming parallel to my edge. So what I've done now is you've got a little kind of a little boat. Okay, with some corners, so that our soap will fit in like this, and then you can wrap this up at the top. Now, what I usually do is um, I like to put a little bit of glue to hold these uh, together. Otherwise, I find they're a little bit um, the box isn't very sturdy. 
So I'm going to put just a dab of glue on the corner right here. Okay, so I've I've put a little bit of glue on my side so that I put it on the inside corner here so that it kind of holds up a little bit better. I'm going to put the soap inside like that. There. Inside and then I will tuck one end inside the other. If I can come on. There we go. It's quite snug, so you just you may have to work at it a little bit. So it makes a little box. And then we get some ribbon. And I'll usually write put some ribbon around. So so now we get our ribbon and wired ribbon so it makes it a little bit easier to tie because it, it, um, it holds its shape. Okay. And then we're going to make a bow. I'm not very good at making bows. doesn't matter because it works out in the end. My table is inclined so it's <laughs> keep sliding silly thing. So you just work at it. bigger than the other, we'll fix that, like so, okay, now we fix the bottom, got one end, the other end, there we go. And Okay, so we've got our soap, and we want to make our little box here. So I take a piece of paper, uh, again, scrapbooking paper, very loose paper, turn it upside down, put the soap in the middle of it. Now, this paper is a bit big for this soap, so you could trim it a bit, but um, we'll trim it as we go. Because sometimes I've tried cutting it beforehand and then I end up having too small a piece of paper. So we put it in the middle and we're going to fold up and make a crease along the bottom of each corner or each side, this is not corner, each side, so that we can um, indicate the the perimeter of our soap. And just make sure your soap doesn't move around. We'll hold it down very well but just crease the bottom on all sides. And because my soaps are not even, I then mark my paper just to make sure that I remember which way is up. So I'm just going to put a T here. 
I don't know why tea, but tea. And then I keep the soap at the same uh, the same side. I don't move it around, so I know that it will fit here. So I don't know if you can see, but we have some creases around. So now we're going to fold our paper along the crease. Each crease. And you can tell my paper is not even because my soap isn't even. It's not straight. So the paper is not going to be straight, but it will follow the sides of the soap. So here's one. Here's the other. Oh, third one. And this one is not very straight. That's okay. And there. Doesn't have to be exact, exact. But there's my soap. And there's a little box shape. So I'm just going to draw some of these creases because they might be difficult to see on um on the camera. And then of course I've got lines here, 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 here. This won't matter because you're not going to see any of those once the box is finished. Okay, now we're going to measure in the same way, we're going to measure the top of our soap. So again, you're going to measure with the crease at the top of the soap. Like that again on all sides. Oops! Don't move. Don't move. And again, you could measure one inch, but my soap isn't isn't level. It's thicker on some places and thinner on other places. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to crease, or we're going to fold our paper along the creases again. Paper's not straight, but neither's my soap. <laughs> Make sure I cut this straight here. All right. Now you see why it's nice to have a mark because otherwise this gets turned around very easily. Actually, this one is a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now let me indicate what we've done. So we've made some more creases this way, that way. And the reason I'm doing this is that you're going to need to be cutting some along some lines. So, um, it'll be easier to see. So, this is where our soap sits. This will be the side of the box. And this will fold inside the box to make the bottom. So, you are going to cut on the sides. So, this is our top from the sides. doesn't really matter which way you do it, but on the inside line all the way to the soap. So you see where I'm cutting here? On the inside all the way to the to the edge of the the base box. We we'll call it the base box, if you will. Okay. And then we're gonna do that on this side as well. All the way. All the way. So now, we've got something that looks like this. Okay. Now, before we continue, we're going to reinforce our edges. So now I'm going to fold along the outer edge. And then I'm going to 
fold this along the inner edge. So this is what I'm calling the outer edge and this is what I'm calling the inner edge. So I'm folding this like that and this like this. You can actually do this before you cut. I just forgot, but it doesn't matter. So you can see that there's your first side of your box. Okay, so open that up again. And I'm going to do this to that side. So like this, and like that. Okay. It is easier to cut it to, to, to fold this before you cut your sides, but again, it doesn't, you know, it still works. So now, we've got one side, two sides. We're going to cut the excess off in a minute. Now, you're going to cut this part off. The folding that we've just done here, this folding here has created another crease at the very top. Okay. Let me mark it. It's created another crease up here and up here and up here. I hope you can see the full the full um cut. So we're going to cut alongside this all the way up to the inner edge. We're going to cut this past the outer edge or the outer crease to there. And then we're going to cut this off. Like that. On all four corners. Here, I know it seems a bit um, confusing, but it will make sense eventually. I'm going to make sure I do the right one. Keep these pieces, you'll use them again. Okay, so we've got these that we cut before from the middle, and we had folded this like that, and we took out the corners. So now we've got something that looks like this. Now, fold this in here. This is a bit too long because it goes over the edge this edge. So I'm going to cut it. it. And because my box or my square isn't very square, I'm just going to trim a little bit here because it's going over this um, edge. I'm just going to trim it a little bit. Like that. Okay. This one Fit quite fits quite nicely, so we're gonna leave that one. Now we're gonna fold this. We're going to fold this and just make a crease. Okay, this is a, going to be one of the sides. Again, fold this side, make a little crease, fold this. More like a fold, it's not really a crease, it's a fold. So now we've done the other edges of our of our box. But they're way too big. They're they're too long, so we're going to cut them. I'm gonna cut about half of them off. And a few tapes. And again this one. Cut it half and cut it half. 
So now your box looks like this. These are our sides, and this is our other side. It's starting to look like a box, isn't it? Now, remember, this is our top, okay? Because now you won't be able to see it anymore. So I take one side folded in, I take the other side, and you know how, see how this is folded like a little tent? So I put one little tent inside the other, like that. And then I do the same this side. doesn't matter which side goes over the other one. You can do one over and under and the other one over and under on the other side. Like this. I, can, I like to do that, actually. So, this side is under, that side's over. This side's over, that side's under. Okay? Now you're going to fold this long side over you're going to fold it right down to the to the edge of the bottom and crease it nicely so it sits nicely in there. You're going to do the same side same thing on this side and actually this this is a bit too big. We're going to trim that. our box. And you can see our box is not straight, but neither is the soap, but it fits the soap nicely. Now if you want, for more stability, you can take, you can use some glue on, on, the, on the side if you want. And then you can take this, and we make a little center, like that, Oops, it's a little bit big, on. put some glue, some hot glue on there, and glue it down there to make a little bit stronger bottom. And then you can, you can also glue the flaps down. It's, uh, Depends on the hum, how you're going to use your box. If you want to use it again and again, then I would make it a little bit stronger and, and glue it. If you're only going to use it as packaging for soap and people are going to throw it away after, then, you know, you can go simpler. You can use the same method to make a cover for it. You just make another box. But when you do take your measurements, make sure that um, you have this in the box to measure because your cover is going to have to be slightly bigger than the bottom because of course now it's got to go over the bottom as well. And I would also make it not all the way down but maybe um, a little bit shallower on the edges so that it's easier to take um, to open. So then I'm going to take some twine and put some twine around this little fellow. If you want, you can use some labeling and put your label on the back, on the bottom, or you can use a, um, yeah, Marie, why don't you put it in the middle, like most people, heavens to Betsy. Okay. There we go. You can use a tag and put a hole in it and attach it to, uh, to the bow, or to the ends. A little, okay, it's a little bit loose, but if you want, you can make a bow. I'm not very good at making bows. There you go. Now, I find with um, this type of string or um, sometimes ribbon, 
it doesn't really, really want to stay. I'd probably fiddle a bit more with it, but what I sometimes do is I'll put a little bit of glue on it so it's not going to come apart. Because twine is, is not very, I mean, it's very fiddly. Or, if you want, you can just leave it, whoa, <laughs> see that? You just leave it and then just, you know, flip it. But I would just, I'm going to fix this because it's bugging me. Take a little bow. And like that. So this one doesn't want to. It's not very pretty. Anyways, I would fix it up. But anyways, you get the idea. These little boxes are kind of nifty. And, and like I said, they take very little time to make. They um, they look kind of pretty. They look kind of, you know, country, crafty, uh, but a little bit stylish. Anyway, so that's more unwrapping. So I hope you enjoy that. And if I ever get any other bright ideas, I'll come and share them with you. Thanks for watching.